Hi everyone, let's begin ANOVA test. ANOVA, how we have to perform in Python, using Python. So first of all, let me explain you what is ANOVA. I had already explained you in my previous video also, and I'm going to share this link in my description box today also. ANOVA analysis of variance, and it is one-way ANOVA. So first of all, we would like to run one-way ANOVA, or we can call it univariate GLM general linear model. So here is a example is this what case study I'm going to take to perform this ANOVA. Uh, an oil company has introduced a new brand of gasoline in its outlets in three major metro cities. However, they are not sure how the new brand is selling at three places since there is a lot of difference in the driving habits of people in all three metros. So the company selected 10 outlets in each city and uh, tabulated the data on an average daily sale at each of the selected outlets. In the given table, items 1, 2, 3 in the table represents 1 stands for Delhi, 2 stands for Mumbai, and uh, 3 stands for Kolkata. Right. So here is you can see these are the outlets total how many outlets we have taken total 30 outlets I have taken and one stands for Delhi, two stands for Mumbai and three stands for here is Kolkata and this is the volume in gallons. So that means we, we want to compare whether there is any difference. Uh, in between all these three groups. So the average sale of the new brand of gasoline is same in all the metro cities and the average sale of the new brand of gasoline is not same in all the metro cities. I have taken two hypotheses. I want to test these hypotheses whether null hypothesis is accepting or alternate hypothesis is going to accept it. And F statistics, it is basically work on F statistics. F statistics means variance due to difference between groups and divided by error variance. So let me run the same test in Python. So I hope uh, this example is clear to everyone and uh, let me perform this ANOVA. So first of all, as you know, the same directory I have used in the same directory, uh, my this uh, statistics file, Excel file is available. So let me perform this ANOVA. And uh, we are going to, first of all, import pandas as PD. As I said, it will perform import, import uh, statsmodels.api as SM. I'm going to import this and from statsmodelsformula.api import OLS. So here is, this is my data. Data is, I want to call this Excel file. Right, this Excel file name is one way anova.xlsx. And this file is available in my same folder. So let me call this pd.read underscore Excel one way anova and let me print this. So data when I had print this, so you can see here, this is the uh, this one is the statistics are available in this particular file. So outlets, how many outlets? We can see 30 outlets and uh, metro one, two, three, all three metros and sale is also. So reflecting. Now, first of all, I would like to check a box plot also for this purpose. And uh, I had used this particular function data dot box plot. And what I want sale, I want sale on my this x axis. And here is by metro, right? So I want both these groups box plot in between it should be grouped by metros metro because there are three metros Delhi, Mumbai and Kolkata. So I want to check this sale. So I had to perform this particular uh, function. So what happened? And now you can see here, this is my box plot by all these three metros. One is Delhi, this is for Delhi, and this is for Mumbai, and this is for Kolkata. And now I want to perform one way ANOVA. So here is I had created one new variable new equal to OLS, right? Because 
I had already called, you can see here, this is the from stats model dot formula dot API import OLS. So I'm going to use this function OLS. Now you can see new equal to OLS and I want to check metro wise sale, whether this is my null hypothesis, whether there is any difference among all these three metros or not sale. I mean sales, because uh, people's habits, a standard of living and each and everything, there is difference. So I am going to use the same data and dot fit, right? And this function I'm going to use. And this is the ANOVA stands for AN. I had used SN dot stats dot ANOVA linear model new Right, this file is this variable is going to use and type two. So when I have run both these things, so you can see here when I run and uh, after that, right. So now you can see this data is, uh, and I want to print this. So when I am printing this, so you can see here, this is my F distribution. This one is the F statistics value. And this P value, P value is 0 0.408. That means I would say uh, my null hypothesis, it is accepted and alternate hypothesis is rejected. And expert null hypothesis, what is said, there is no difference, right? There is in my null hypothesis, you can see this, the average sale of new brand of gasoline is same in all the metro cities, right? That is the old one thing, rejected and accepted. So I would write here that is accepted. And in case of alternate hypothesis is rejected, is rejected. So now we can say the average sale of the new brand of gasoline is not same in all the metro cities because my p value is less than is not less than 0 0.05. It is greater than 0 0.05. So I hope this ANOVA test it is clear and uh, your doubts how we have to run in Python that is clear. Thank you. Keep watching.